Special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, let's go to a for here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and build the Sikorsky CH-53 Super Stallion. The CH-53 Super Stallion is a heavy lift helicopter operated by the United States military as the Sikorsky S-80. It was developed from the CH-53 C Stallion, mainly by adding a third engine, adding a seventh blade to the main rotor, and canting the tail rotor 20 degrees. It was built by Sikorsky Aircraft for the United States Marine Corps. The less common MH-53E Sea Dragon uh, fills the United States Navy's need for a long-range mine sweeping or airborne mine countermeasures mission the air and perform heavy lift duties for the Navy. Under development, it is the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion, uh, which has new engines, new composite rotor blades, and a wider aircraft cabin. This is to replace the CH-53E. So yeah, a really uh, cool helicopter, one of the biggest helicopters, or actually the biggest helicopter used currently by the United States military. It is a behemoth of a helicopter, has some really crazy lift capabilities. There's some videos out there where it's carrying like two Humvees. It's pretty wild. Uh, it's a really cool helicopter and again, it's going to make an awesome addition to any of your worlds where you're looking to add uh, the Marine Corps really into any kind of scenarios and stuff like that. Um, this helicopter, as I mentioned, is mainly used by the Marine Corps, but the Navy does have a derivative of it, which is pretty much the same thing, just goes by a different name. So you can uh, change the name on this to basically be for the Navy if you want to, uh, but for us we have the Marine Corps version, as that's the more common one you, type, you typically see. Uh, overall, it's a really nice looking helicopter. It has some really cool, nice design features. Um, one thing to mention though that this is not a Pavlo or this isn't a Sea King. Um, those are different, so just pointing out there real quick is that there is differences besides the seventh blade, the um, tilted tail rotor, and um, it being slightly bigger. The top of the fuselage is different where the engine kind of mounts up to and so realistically, this uh, is different from those. So if you're planning on using it for a Pavlo or a Sea King, it's not going to really work um, exactly, or at least be 100% accurate. Um, but yeah, overall, really cool looking helicopter. Before we get started, I'm going to give special links to Patreon supporter uh, Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more, you guys already do feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the video, my video descriptions. Um, on there, you can pledge a small amount to the channel, support my work, and earn a VR card request you're choosing every month you're a Patreon supporter. So, again, feel free to check it out. Again, link is in the video description. Anyways, let's go ahead and kind of dive in and take a look here at this helicopter, see exactly what we got going on here, and we'll move into the tutorial from there. So, we have the refueling probe here on the front, the cockpit itself, a very wide um, looking helicopter, but it looks super aggressive and super mean from the front. We have the little pylons here that pop on the sides to house the land gear and also the uh, refuel or the uh, not refueling pod, but the external fuel pods. So these refueling pods are um, optional, but for the most part, they do include them as this is designed to be a uh, long range helicopter. So uh, we do have that here. One of the main differences you'll notice here is that we do have the third engine, and it's kind of weird how they kind of rigged it. So they have the two main engines here, but then they have like a third engine that kind of just like sneaks its way in here on the left side and flows back in. It's kind of funky, but I kind of like it at the same time. So uh, very interesting uh, design choice here to fit that engine, but you know, uh, I guess it works. So, you know, if it works, it, it uh, it's good. As we work our way back, we have obviously the Marine logo, logo the star insignia here, and all the uh, little instruments and details here on the tail. The tail here, as you can see, is slanted at an angle. I think it looks super good for what it is, so really happy with the way that came out. And then up here in the, for the blades, first ever helicopter I did seven blades on. It was uh, definitely a challenge, but I think it actually came out really good. The spacing is pretty good um, for the blades. I really don't think you can get anything much better than what we have here, so uh, really happy with the way that came out, and I think the uh, rotor blades definitely look really good. And as you can see, they are slanted. Since these rotor blades are really complicated and all that, I didn't do a weighted rotor design, so you can go ahead and modify your helicopters to have the weighted rotor appearance when they kind of droop down. But uh, just for the sake of how uh, ridiculous these blades are and how each one needs to be built individually, uh, I'm going to have to uh, you know pass on the weighted rotor, so I'll leave that up to you guys. 
But yeah, uh, awesome design. We have the land version here, and we also have the in-flight version. So if you guys can choose whatever scenario you're going to put this in. Anyways, let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, go ahead and move it into our first layer. We go ahead and move it into layer one. A few things I want to go ahead and disclose before we go ahead and get started. If you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way to start these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is I'll be building half the air aircraft on camera and leaving the air half to, for you guys to copy over between layers. This helicopter does have a few differences um, depending on what sides we're working on, and when we get to those points, I will discuss those in further detail. Uh, but for the most part, just know that whatever we do on the right side, we're going to be building the whole center line and right side of the aircraft. You're going to go ahead and copy over the left side in between layers as we kind of work through it a little bit further it'll make a little bit more sense and um, it'll get a little bit more easier. Um, also, if you do want to build the landed version, we will be adding the landing gear at the end as a modification to the in-flight version. So just to make sure that those of you that want to build this landed, you want to make sure you build the correct height of the ground. As you can see here, we have basically two blocks here marking our height and you can see our layer here starts basically with top slabs coming off this second block. Uh, up high. So again, make sure that this is positioned this way. Um, if you have it too high, too low, obviously it's not going to sit properly when we go to add the landing gear on at the end. So uh, just take that into or keep that in consideration. Anyways, for us to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door. Again, this is going to be on the top portion of, of the side of the block like so, not, not on the bottom portion like that. We're going to go and then place down a row of stone top slabs. This row in total is going to be 22 blocks long and then an iron trap door here on the end. So again, 22 blocks uh, of iron or of uh, stone top slabs. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the side here and do the same row a second time. So it's going to be one additional row of 22. And our iron trap door on the end here as well. Up in the front here, we're going to go ahead and do one more row out to the side. So an iron trap door, 22 stone top slabs back. And then a iron trap door on the end there. After that's done, starting the end here, we're going to go and take our iron trap doors. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 iron trap doors there along the sides. So as you can see here, this is what we should have for our design. Obviously, the front of our helicopter being this side and the rear being that way. This is what you want here for this layer. We have the center line here. The right side, you're going to take what we do on the right side. Flip it over to the left side, and this will be your final product here for layer number one. Anyways, once you guys have that layer or that side copied over and everything's good to go, that is going to conclude layer one for the tutorial. Let's move on to layer number two. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer. We're moving into layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a stone block on this middle iron trap door. We're going to then place down a stone upside down stair coming off like so. After that's done, come off the stone upside down stair. We're going to go with an additional stair out to the side here, a stone block behind that stair. We then want to place down a light gray stained glass block on top of this iron trap door here, and a wither skeleton school like that coming off that um, light gray stained glass block. After that, uh, we're going to place down a stone block back from that block, and then to the sides here, we're going to go and place down two andesite walls like that to the sides. Going ahead and go into the back, we're going to go to the center iron trap door. So again, that's going to be our fifth one there in the middle. We're going to place down a stone block in the middle here on top of that iron trap door, followed by a stone upside down stair, stone top slab. And we want to repeat that row uh, two times or out to the side. So stone block, stone upside down stair, stone top slab, stone block, stone upside down stair, stone top slab. And then after that's finished there, we're going to go off of this stone uh, stair here. We're going to place down an upside down corner stair of stone and then a stone block like that going like that. Now from this stone block all the way up to those andesite walls, we're going to take our stone blocks and fill in this entire space like this across these iron trap doors all the way up to the front like so. From this point here, we're going to go and count back from the front. One, two, three, four, five, and our six stone block here. We're going to place down two iron trap doors to the side. We then want to place down uh, two rows of two of stone top slabs. So one, and two, and then two stone upside down stairs. So like this here on the side. We're gonna go ahead and place down a row of stone blocks. So one, then a second, three, four, five, and six rows of two of stone blocks, followed by a row of two of stone top slabs, a second row of two, and then two iron trap doors, like so. After that's finished, we're gonna go ahead and then skip a space over from this iron trap door and place down an additional iron trap door, so just like this. And then we're gonna take our stone top slabs and we're gonna go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 
stone top subs forward just like that and again once you have that all finished that's going to pretty much wrap up what we have here for uh, layer number two as you can see pretty simple stuff so far just kind of getting the structure built for it and all that um, this is what it should look like from up above here for this layer and go ahead and take what we do on the right side and flip it over to the left side anyways that right there is going to wrap up layer two let's move on to layer number three all right guys go ahead and move into our next layer we have layer number three for layer three to go ahead and get started with we're going to go ahead and place tiny stone block on this middle stone upside down stair so a stone block like this and then a inside wall coming off of it going toward the front we then want to go ahead and go to the back here and we're going to go up at an angle from the stone top slab and replace tiny stone uh, full block followed by a stone top slab after that's done we want to go ahead and uh, grab some material here and we're going to go ahead and count back from this top slab 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 blocks back. And then we're going to place down a dark oak wood trapdoor on this top side here of this uh, place where block. And once we have that done, again, we have like a row of 13 here. We're going to delete these blocks. And we'll have basically something that looks like that. Going back up to the front now, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block coming off this one to the side here, and then a andesite wall. Now, right here is where we do have our first difference. Over here on the left side of the fuselage, so over here we're going to place down a light gray stained glass full block, followed by a second light gray, block, light, light, light gray stained glass block back from it. However, over here on the right side, we're going to place down two stone blocks in those spots, so one and two stone blocks. Come off those stone blocks going forward, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six uh, stone brick walls going forward, and end rod on the uh, last stone brick uh, wall there. We're going to go and then go to our third from the front uh, wall right here. We're going to place down a dark oak fence gate to both sides opened up toward the um, wall. And then we want to place down an iron trap door on top and the bottom here of that uh, stone brick wall. And again, that's going to be on the right side and the right side only. The left side will be looking like this. And this is what it should look like up on the front here. I recommend just to go ahead and do both sides here just so that there's no confusion later on when you're transferring both sides over. Anyways, once we get to this point, we go ahead and start to get back into the symmetry. So we're going to start off by going to this block right here. We're going to place down a inside wall to the side here, followed by a light gray stainless block back from it. We then want to place down a coal ore block followed by a stone block, and then coming off the side of that stone block, we're going to go and place down a skeleton skull. Again, the same thing on both sides there. We're going to go and then take our stone blocks. We're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 stone blocks back. We're going to place down a black concrete block here to the side, and then on the black concrete block, we're going to place down a stone button. After that black concrete block, we're going to go and grab andesite walls. We're going to place down one, two, and three andesite walls back. On the insides here, we're going to go, and go one, two, three uh, stone blocks, and then a stone top slab, and then the space right in the middle here, stone block and stone top slab like that for the rear there, and that's going to finish that off. Uh, one thing I want to go ahead and also throw on is that next to this black concrete block, we're going to go and grab a item frame and also some black banners. We're going to go to the wall here. And this block, we're going to place down a item frame on both sides. We then want to place down black banners in those item frames, and we're going to go ahead and rotate the black banners so that they are kind of pointing toward the black concrete block like that for the National Star insignia. After that's uh, complete, there, we're going to go ahead and focus our attention now to these pylons here to the sides. We're going to go ahead and place down two stone brick slabs on top of those two iron trap doors. From that, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two stone blocks, followed by a second row, three, four, five, six seven eight nine and we're going to stop at nine rows back we're going to then take our stone stairs we're going to place down two stone stairs two stone slabs and then two iron trap doors to go and finish that off with that done we're going to go ahead and then take our inside walls we're going to go to the second row of two of stone blocks from the front we're going to place down the inside wall on the side followed by one two three four five six seven eight and nine giving you a row of ten here along the side we're going to take our stone blocks and we're going to go ahead and start off with this tiny stone block on top of these stone top slabs. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. For the front here, we're going to go ahead and place down one or more additional stone block going toward the front. And we want to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull uh, on the tip there just like that. After that's complete, we're going to go ahead and then go to the back and we're going to place down an additional stone block that goes toward the back here 
and a skeleton skull coming off that. Turn off both sides of that stone block, we're going to place down a dark oak fence key, like so. With that out of the way, uh, we want to go and then grab our inside walls, and along the sides here, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, like that, going forward. And then on both sides of this second from the front stone block, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like that to both sides. After that's complete, that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have here for this layer. Here's what it should look like from up above, with um, both sides completed and transferred over. And as you can see, pretty straightforward, nothing too complex yet. Anyways, uh, that right there is going to do it for layer 3. And with that, let's go and move into layer number 4. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we'll be moving on to layer 4. For layer 4, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a andesite wall on top of this block right here. And then we want to place down two stone blocks back from that andesite wall there for the front center line. Going to the rear here, we're going to go, and go, and go up from the, this stone top slab. We're going to place down a stone full block, followed by a stone top slab coming off that full block, like that here for the tail. So again, going up at that angle. On the back here, we're going to place down a nether brick fence post on top of this dark oak wood trap door. And then we're going to place down a nether brick upside down stair coming off that um, nether brick fence post facing toward the uh, fuselage there, like so on the back there. And that's going to wrap up your center line here for the vehicle. Moving out to the sides here, both sides are symmetrical, so there's uh, no differences. So whatever we do on one side will be done to the other side. We're going to go to this and side wall, place down one more to the side, and then two stone blocks back from it. We then want to take our light gray stainless blocks, we're going to place down one and two, come off those two stone full blocks, and on the first block here, we're going to place down two stone buttons here on these two sides, like so. After that, coming off this second uh, light gray stainless block, we're going to place down a andesite wall, and then we want to go and place down an additional one and two back, so you have a row of three. On the inside here of these two walls, we're going to place down two stone blocks like that to go and kind of um, fill that space, those gaps in the walls in. And then after these walls here, we're going to place down one and two stone blocks back, Followed by a black concrete block. After that's complete, we're going to then place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 stone blocks back. Two blocks of coal. And a stone block. On the stone block, in the second block of coal here, we're going to place down two iron bars there to the sides. Come off the stone block, we're going to place down two inside walls back. And then on the insides here, 1, 2, 3 and four stone blocks back and then a stone top slab and then in the space here in between the middle and the side here we're going to place down a stone block in between those and a stone top slab like that going back again uh, building more of that uh, rear of the helicopter basically where the ramp would be located and that right there is going to wrap that up and we're going to now move into our pylons so for our pylons here uh, we're going to go and start off by going ahead and placing down two iron trap doors so we're going to go to the second row with two stone blocks from the front Place down two iron trap doors, two with daylight detectors right behind them, and we're going to go and make sure we turn the daylight detectors to the night mode um, so they kind of blend in a little bit more with the helicopter. After that, we're going to place down a row of two of stone, st of stone slabs, followed by a second row of two after that, and we're going to go ahead and then place down two rows of two of daylight detectors, and again, turn them to the night mode. And then, uh, last thing for the pylons here, two iron trap doors, just like that. Now after that's complete, we're going to go and grab a stone stair, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair coming with this first daylight detector here, and we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six upside down stairs back, just like that. Now coming off those six upside down stairs, we're going to go and take our stone brick walls, and we're going to place down a row of seven, come off those seven stairs, like so. Going toward the front here, come off those stone brick walls, we're going to place down two stone slabs going forward. And then go into the back here and place down two stone slabs going back. And then an iron trap door like that from off those two stone slabs. And once you have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for the pylons. Uh, a few things to cover is that on this andesite wall right here, we're going to go and grab ourselves a iron frame, a dark oak wood sign, and also a black concrete block. And for this section, we're going to go ahead and... Place down an item frame on the side of this wall, dark oak sign, and a black concrete block in the item frame, just like that for the side there. And also for the front here, you do have the option of adding the unit number. Now you can choose any three digit number you uh, guys would like to do to go ahead and make the helicopter number. For me, I just have 101, uh, but you guys can choose whatever number you guys want. I will be linking a tutorial down in the description which covers how to do numbered banners, so you guys can refer to that and make your banners. You're going to want to go ahead and have 
light gray banners with black lettering. So uh, feel free to check out that banner tutorial and to basically build uh, whatever numbers you guys want here for uh, the front of your helicopter. And make sure you hold on to those banners because we will be using them here on the sides of the helicopter as well in a couple layers. So um, anyways, that right there is it for this layer, layer number four. Here's what it should look like from up above. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and start with here, we're going to place down a stone stair on top of this stone block up here in the middle, followed by a dark oak sign coming off the front of the stair, and a stone block directly behind that stair, like so. And that's going to be the center there for the front. Moving to the back here, we're going to go up from this stone top side like we've been doing with a stone block, and a stone top side coming off that stone block. So, pretty simple there. And then uh, on the back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood trapdoor, which is on top of this fence post like this and opened up like so. And a dark oak wood trapdoor on top of this narrow brick stair and opened up like that, so it creates a design that looks like this. And then coming off this trapdoor, going forward, we're going to place down a dark or narrow brick upside down stair like that for the rear tail, tail section there. And that right there is going to complete our center lines for the helicopter. Let's start moving out to the sides. This layer here, again, is uh, completely symmetrical, so what we'll be doing on the one side will be done on the other. Uh, we're going to go to the side here of the stone stair and place down a stone stair like this, stone block like that behind it, and then another stone block come off that one. We're going to then place down a skeleton skull come off this stone block there toward the front. On top of this inside wall, we're placing place down a skeleton skull here at a slight angle, like so. And then going back from this stone block here, we're going to place down two light gray stainless blocks and then two light gray stainless panes here to the sides of those blocks. We're going to go ahead and then take our stone blocks, we're going to place down one and two stone blocks back. And one thing I did notice from the previous layer that I did forget is that on this inside wall right here, we're going to place down a stone brick wall. So just make sure that that gets added to the sides right there. Anyways, continuing on, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a light gray stainless pane on top of this black concrete block. Followed by one, two, three, and four uh, stone blocks, a light gray stainless pane. One, two, three, four stone blocks, light gray stainless pane, and again four stone blocks in a light gray stainless pane. We're going to go ahead and then place down one, two, three, and four stone blocks back, followed by three and the inside walls back. On the inside here, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five stone blocks back, followed by an inside wall. Now on the inside here, come off this stone block in the middle, we're going to place down a stone block like that, connecting to the inside wall, and a stone top slab coming off that <coughs> stone block just like that. And once that's done, we're going to go now move into our uh, pylon tier on the side. So for this, very simple, uh, we're going to start off by going ahead and placing down an iron trap door, which is going to go above the slab, so right on top of it, and then we want to go ahead and go two more back, so one, two. Then we're going to place down a dark or good fence gate and have it open up toward the side there. We're going to go ahead and then take our iron tra trap doors and go back one, two, three, four, and five iron trap doors back like so. Coming off of that fence gate there, we want to go ahead and place down a light gray shulker box on its side like so. We're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull and then come off this iron trap door there, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull. And then on the very front here of the or I should say the top, since it's sideways, we're going to place down a stone bun there on the side, like that. After that's all done there, uh, we also want to go ahead and grab a lever, and to finish this off, we're going to place down a lever here on the stone block, and have it opened up toward the dark oakwood fence gate like that. And once that's done, um, that's pretty much it for the structure, and we do have this uh, little portion here where we do need to make these banners here for the side here. So for these banners, we're going to go ahead and go into our create a menu, and we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a loom, so, uh, two black banners, and we're going to need two pieces of light gray dye. So really simple, we're going to place down a loom, our black banners, and our light gray dye. And we're going to go ahead and split the looms in half, on, or split the banners in half here. So we have basically this banner split in half with the light gray on the left side. That's our first banner, and then we're going to go and do the same thing, but this time with the light gray on the right side. And that's all you need to do. So two banners just like this. We're going to go and go to the sides here. And we're going to place down our banners on these two stone blocks. And we want to make sure that we place them so that the black is facing toward the inside here. Um, like that and not obviously facing toward the outside. So just like that for these side windows here on both sides. Make sure you do hold on to these banners because we will need them for um, a few more layers. So just make sure you hold on to them and 
have them uh, ready on to go when we um, get to basically doing the uh, next two layers. So anyways, that right there is it for layer number five for the build. And here's a bit of an overview of what it looks like so far. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number six. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and go to the front. And for our center here, we're going to place down a light gray stainless paint on top of that middle stone block and a light gray stainless full of black directly behind that light gray stainless paint. And that right there is going to be the center there for the front. Moving to the rear here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block, which is going to go ahead and go um, on top of this stone top slab here. So a stone block on top of this top slab, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stone blocks back. Should end on top of this snare brick up sound stair, and then a uh and it's a wall just hit down the end there and that's going to do it there for your tail and that's the center for that we're going to go and then move up to the front here and start working our way out to the side so from this light gray stainless block we're going to go one and two light gray stainless blocks out to the side here and then two light gray stainless paints after that's finished uh we are going to go and then go back from this light gray stainless block and we're going to place down one more back and then a light gray stainless paint out to the side from that block we then want to take our stone blocks we're going to place down one and two stone blocks back, followed by an Arabic top slab, and a stone block. Now on the inside here, we want to go ahead and go to the side here of the slab, and we're going to place down a like gray stained glass block on the side of that slab, just like that. For the windows here, and like we did for the previous layer, we're going to place down a banner, or our banner design here on both sides, just like that. After that's done, we're going to go and place down one, two, and three more stone blocks back, a stone top slab, and a like gray stained glass block in the middle here. Again, four stone blocks back, a stone top slab, like gray stainless block, one, two, three, four stone blocks, stone top slab, like gray stainless block, and then one, two, three stone blocks back, followed by one, two, three, and four inside walls. After that, we're going to go to the side here and see inside walls. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stone blocks back, and then one, two, and three inside walls. On the inside here, the three inside walls, we're going to place down one, two, three stone blocks, followed by one, two, and then one, two, three, and inside walls like that. And that right there will basically finish off your sides here. And that right there is pretty much that for the structure. And we're going to go now move into our banners. So for our banners here, we're going to go grab the exact banners that we put on the front of the aircraft. So for us, I did 101, and again, whatever you ch chose to do. We're going to go and go over to this section, and right after our third window, or right before it, so our third window right here, we're going to place down one, two, and our third number like that. So we have basically our unit designation there on the side of the helicopter. I will also be linking a tutorial down in the description, which will show you guys how to do the lettered banners. So very similar to how the number banners were structured. So you can go ahead and write Marines on the side of the helicopter. Again, you don't have to do Marines. You can do Navy if you do want to, but for the sake of our tutorial, we're going to be doing Marines. Now, if you're on the left side of the fuselage, you're going to go and start with your M on this stone block. So you're going to do M-A-R-I-N-E-S, and that'll be Marines. And then over here on the right side, we're going to go and start at this stone block with an M. A R I N E S. So you can see from the side there, obviously, breach Marines. You can do Navy. Um, so those are kind of your two options there for it. So that's basically what we have here. So again, same thing here on both sides there, just like that. Make sure that they do read from left to right. Um, once that's all done, we will need to make a couple more banners here in our loom. Uh, we'll be doing basically this front section here. So we're going to go ahead and grab our loom again. And uh, we're going to need black banners, um, two of them, and our two gray dies. So pretty much very similar to how we did our last set of banners here. And for these, real simple, we're going to go, and go into our loom. We're going to place down our black banners and our light gray die. Now for these banners, we're going to go ahead, instead of splitting them exactly down the center, we're going to do the, kind of split them into thirds here. So we're going to, go and do the slight line over here on the left side of light gray, and then the slight little gray line here on the right side. And those are the two banners we need. We're going to go ahead and go to both sides of this stone block here. And we're going to place down our um, banners here so that the light gray is facing toward the front. And that's going to be on both sides there for a bit of detail here in the windows. And that right there is going to basically wrap up what we have there for uh, this layer. As you can see, it's starting to come together. We're starting to see the shape really starting to get together. And 
all that. So it's getting there for sure. And here's an overview of a picture of basically what it looks like. So again, real straightforward stuff. Anyways, number three is it for layer six. And with that, we're gonna move into our next layer, layer number seven. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number seven. For layer seven to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna place down a stone stair on top of this like we're staying this block, and then three stone blocks back from that stair like so. After that's done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the back. And on the back here, we're gonna place down a stone block on top of this anazite wall, followed by one, two, and three, going forward toward the front to leave a row of four here. And then we're gonna place down a skeleton skull on the very back, just like that for the tail there. After that's all complete, we want to go ahead and then go up to the front and start working our way out to the side. Next to this stair, we're going to place down a stone stair, and again, one, two, and three stone blocks back. We're going to go ahead and place down another brick slab to the side here, a light gray stained glass block, and then one and two stone blocks back from that. We're going to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull on this uh, light gray stained glass pane at a slight angle like that to the side there. And then going back from it, we're going to place down one and two stone stairs. Now, coming off your first stone stair here, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate. And then coming off your uh, second stair here, we're going to place down a stone corner stair, like so. So on the left side, we just have this dark oak fence gate. Over here on the right side, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton school in its place, followed by a dark oak fence gate, and then a end rod. Now, coming off the end rod and the fence gate, we're going to place down two light gray shulker boxes. We're going to go ahead and then drop down from the sugar box here toward the rear and we're going to place down a iron bar that comes down from it we also want to go and grab buttons stone buttons and also an acacia wood button we're going to place down an acacia wood button here on the side and two stone buttons here on both sides and this right here is going to basically be for basically repelling or some kind of um system like that uh to repel down the side of the aircraft so um i guess for rescue operations or something of that sort um but that's what that's for there on the side and then behind this corner stair here on both sides we're gonna have a stone block. Now from the stone block here we're gonna go back one, two, three, four, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four. Stone blocks back, followed by one, two, three, four, five. Like or, or, or uh, anisite walls back on the inside here of these anisite walls, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and a set blo or stone blocks and then one two and three and a set walls like that going toward the back here We're gonna go ahead and go to this second to last and set wall here on the side place down a dark oak fence gate a Dark oak sign on the side here, and then we're gonna go and grab ourselves an item frame And a red stained glass block and we're gonna go place down an item frame Like so with a red stained glass block in the item frame just like that after that's all complete there, we're going to go and then place down a skeleton skull, come off the side of this andesite wall, and then we're going to place down one and two hand rods like that along the side there of the andesite wall and stone block just like that. Once uh, that's all complete, we're going to go and go back up to our forward section here. We're going to go off this corner stair. We're going to go and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to just place down a total of six stone blocks. So, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So, yeah, six stone blocks here along the side. And once we get to this point, uh, we're going to then uh, place down a row of stone stairs again. So, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve stone stairs back. And then one, two, and three, and a set wall directly after that. Once uh, that's done, going ahead and going to the sides here, we have the engines, which we're going to start working on here. So for our engines, we're going to start off by placing down a nerve brick top slab, come up the stone block, nerve brick upside down stair, one and two, uh, upside down stairs, followed by a row of two of stone top slabs. So we have one, two, and then an iron trap door like that on the end there. After uh, that's all complete there, that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have here for this layer. Just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything and everything looks to be good. Uh, again, just make sure to take note of the differences up here in the front. So, um, very important. Just make sure that they're pretty much uh, both sides are good to go and different from each other. And again, here's an overview of what the helicopter should look like from up above for uh, this layer. Anyways, that right there is going to complete layer number seven for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number 
Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 8. For layer 8, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a stone block. That is going to go ahead and go on top of this second stone block back from the middle stone stair. We're going to go ahead and place down an additional 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 stone blocks back. I'm going to go ahead and double check my count here. Make sure everything is good. So 25 blocks back, and in total, this should be a row 26. So 26 stone blocks in total. We're going to then place down a stone stair like this, two stone slabs, a narrow brick stair with its back facing toward the rear, two daylight detectors. Again, make sure that they're changed to night mode. Uh, we will need to place down a stone block down in this space underneath here, and also this space here. So we're going to basically fill in one, two stone blocks there. We're going to then place down a narrow brick uh, wall right here. Followed by two iron trapdoors back, and then three stone blocks back, and then a stone brick wall here on top of this skeleton skull like that for the rear. After that's done, moving up to the front here and working our way up to the sides, we're going to go ahead and place down a andesite wall here to the right side. And coming off this andesite wall, and only on the right side, we're going to place down an item frame, like raised stained glass block in the item frame, and a dark oak with sign over it, like so. And that's going to be, again, only on the right side. Going back from that wall, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Stone blocks back, followed by two stone slabs, two stone, or, uh, two stone slabs, a skeleton skull, skeleton skull at a slight angle, two iron trap doors, and a dark oak wood fence post, which is only going to be on the left side. So we're going to have dark group defense post on the left side and not on the right. All right, guys, going ahead and moving up to the our next row out to the side. We're going to go and start off by going ahead and placing down a iron trapdoor to the stone block, followed by one and two more backs to a row three. We then want to place down two temporary blocks right here and we're going to place down two skeleton skulls coming off those blocks, delete those blocks, and we have these two skeleton skulls. We're then going to go ahead and place down a stone top slab and then a end rod like that. Now over here on the right side, we're gonna place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Iron trap doors going back. Over here on the left side, it's gonna be slightly different. So we're gonna have, basically after this end rod, we're gonna have three iron trap doors back, a narrow brick top slab, narrow brick upside down stair, two stone top slabs, or sorry, my bad, it should be stone upside down stair, and then a stone top slab, Three iron trap doors, two polished anti top slabs. We're going to then place down one, two, three, four, five, and six iron trap doors back. So we do have the difference here on both sides. So uh, definitely, I recommend bringing your tutorial up to this point. So copying uh, the left side over at this point. Uh, this is going to be the third engine that is mounted on this. So just throwing it out there in case you guys are wondering what this is. Um, so again, just make sure that, that is uh, all good to go for both sides there. Anyways, um, once that's done, we're going to go back up to the front, and we're going to take our anti walls, we're going to place down one and two on those two blocks just like that. So just like that. We're going to go and then go back with them. One, two, three, four, and five stone blocks. We're going to then place down a black concrete block, and then one that comes off that block out to the angle, like that, and then a wither skeleton skull on both sides here of those blocks. We also want to place down an item frame on this black concrete block, and a black Staying less pain there in that item frame, just like that. Now, once that's done, we're going to then go to the sides here. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four anisette walls, followed by a stone uh, block like this, and then a black concrete block going forward of the stone block. After that black concrete block, we're going to go and place down two narrow brick walls going forward, and a light gray uh, banner there on the side of this first wall here on the front. We're also going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood trapdoor on the side of this black concrete block and also a wither skeleton skull come off the side of this uh, stone block right here. And this engine here is going to be the same thing on both sides there so, uh, you know, there is no confusion about that. The engine's exactly the same. Also for the front up here, we're going to go and grab a wither skeleton skull and an end rod. Over here on the left side, we're going to place down the wither skeleton skull on the dark oak wood fence gate with the end rod facing forward. Over here on the right side, it's going to go ahead and go on top of the skeleton school here and a end rod coming off it forward. So just like that to both sides there. 
And with that all complete there, that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have here for this uh, layer. So everything is pretty much good to go for it. Just trying to make sure that everything is good and not missing anything and everything does look good. So that right there is going to conclude layer number eight. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer. Actually, real quick, here is a aerial view of what the helicopter does look like at this point. So uh, definitely coming together and uh, we're getting close to uh, finishing off the fuselage. So good stuff there. Anyways, let's move on to our next layer, layer nine. Our guys moved on to our next layer with layer 9. For layer 9 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a daylight detector here, turn to night mode on top of the second block, we're going to then place down a stone slab back from it, and then a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, stone blocks back, a stone stair, stone slab, and then an iron trap door like that to go and finish that off. After that's done, we're going to then go to the back here, on top of this narrow brick wall, we're going to place down a dark group with trap door, then a stone stair on top of the stone block, two in sight walls back from the stone stair, and a stone brick wall here on the very end. There, there is going to complete your center line. After that, moving ahead to the right side, we're going to place down a daylight detector next to the slab, turn it to night mode, followed by a stone stair like so. Go off the stone stair, we're going to turn to a corner stair, so you have a regular stair, uh, you have a corner stair and then a regular stair. And then we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 blocks back. And a stone corner stair after this stair. And then a iron trap door after that corner stair. Over here to the left side, a little bit different. Next to this slab, we're going to place down a daylight detector, a stone stair, um, or corner stair, stone stair, so just like the other side. Followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 stone blocks back, 2 black concrete blocks, a stone block, stone corner stair, and iron trap door. So slightly different there on both sides. After that, uh, to the right side, we're going to place down a skeleton tool, drop this stone block right above this uh, end rod here. And that right there is going to be it for this row. For our left side here, we're going to place down the skeleton tool here on the side of the stone block. We're going to go ahead and skip two spaces back, and then we're going to place down one, two, three narrow brick walls, a dark cuckoo trap door on the side of this narrow brick wall here, a stone block with our skeleton tool coming off the side of this stone block, two andesite walls back. We're going to go ahead and then skip a space, and then we're going to place down a skeleton tool on the stone block right before the black concrete, two polished andesite top slabs, a polished andesite slab, and come off that polished andesite slab, we're going to place down a skeleton tool like that. And that right there will be basically the third engine here over here on the left side. So again, make sure you take account here of the differences there on both sides. After that's complete, uh, we're going to go ahead and get, then go to both sides here. And we're going to go ahead and place down a row of stone slabs across these stone full blocks. So one, two, three, four, and five. So just like this. And then a dark oak trap door on top of that black concrete block. We also want to place down an end rod to mark that stone slab facing toward the front there. We're going to then place down a narrow brick slab on top of this uh, narrow brick wall. And then after that, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair, followed by a row of one, two, three, four uh, iron trap doors after that narrow brick stair. And again, that'll be the same thing there on both sides for the uh, kind of outer engines there. Um, anyways, once uh, that's all finished off there, um, we do have a piece on the back here which is slightly different, so I'm going to go ahead and basically add this uh, real quick, which I did forget to do in the previous layer, so that is my apologies on that one. So on the back here, we are going to make a slight change. So we're going to go and delete this corner stair and this full block. We're going to place down a stone brick wall in its, that place right there, and a uh, basically a uh, skeleton skull in its place. We're going to go ahead and replace these two blocks here with a polished inside stair, upside down stair, and then we're going to take our black concrete. And we're going to place down one and two black concrete blocks and a light gray banner here on the side of the uh, for the top uh, block like that. And also underneath this stone brick wall, we're going to go ahead and want to place down a stone block just to kind of close that area off. So that basically right there is the difference here on both sides, as you can see. Um, kind of important to make sure that we <laughs> basically do the difference here uh, for these engines. A little uh, complicated, but not really too bad. So that's what it should look like here from up above. And trying to give you guys some different angles here. 
But yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. Right side here, pretty straightforward. And then the left side here just has this second or this third engine, which kind of gets uh, crammed in the space right here. Anyways, that right there is it for uh, we have here for layer number nine for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number 10. All right, guys, go ahead and moving into our next layer. We have layer number 10. For layer 10, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go up to the uh, third stone block in this middle row. We're going to place an iron trap door, stuck an iron trap door, two daylight detectors turned to night mode, two stone slabs, stone stair, anvil, stone stair, two stone slabs, three daylight detectors turned to night mode, and then two iron trap doors like that. After that's done, go into the sides here. We're going to place down two iron trap doors like so, two daylight detectors in night mode, a stone slab, inside wall, a stone stair facing this direction like that, a inside wall, stone slab, and then one, two, three, the other detector is going back, turn to night mode, and then two iron trap doors after that. Uh, over here on the left side, on top of this uh, nether brick wall here, we're going to place down a nether brick slab, nether brick stair after it. A skeleton skull on top of this stone block, and then the skeleton skull tilted at an angle like this on that inside wall to go ahead and finish that off. Uh, once that's done, that's kind of it for the um, fuselage there, and we're going to move back to the tail here. So for the tail, on top of these uh, two inside walls, we're going to place down two more inside walls up, and then a stone brick wall after that. Coming off the two inside walls, out to the left side, we're going to place down two upside down stone stairs, and a stone brick upside down stair like so. We're going to go ahead and then grab some uh, blocks we can easily tell apart and delete later. We're going to go ahead and go off of this stone stair, one and two blocks, and we're going to then place down a birch wood stair coming off that block facing toward the front. We're going to go and then go back from this block, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you have a space of basically seven going back from this birch stair, and we're going to place down a second birch wood stair here on the back for the tail rotor. We can go ahead and then delete uh, those blocks as we don't need them anymore there. And that right there is going to complete what we have here for layer 10. With that, we're going to go ahead and move into our final layers here, which are going to basically cover the tail rotor and uh, basically getting our rotors ready to be built here uh, once we get to those in the um, kind of a, at the end of the tutorial once we get the fuselage built. Uh, but basically, we have layers uh, basically 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 to go ahead and finish putting this whole uh, tail rotor system on the back there and just uh, kind of getting this area ready for when we uh, move to it. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up what we have there for layer 10. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. All right, guys, go ahead and move into our final layers. Now for our final layers here, we're gonna start off by going ahead and building this tail rotor. Now this tail rotor here is probably one of the more complex ones I've ever done. So bear with me, hopefully I don't make any mistakes on building this, but uh, we should hopefully be good to go. Anyways, to start off with, we're going to go to this stone upside down stair here and place down a stair on top of it, followed by two inside walls back from it, and then a uh, stone brick wall here on the very end, like so. Coming off this inside wall right here, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair, like so, and then going up from the stone upside down stair, we're going to place down an inside wall that goes up from it at an angle, and a second one like that. So we're going to keep that as is for right now. We're going to go and then go up from these two inside walls with two more inside walls and also a additional. Uh, stone brick wall up like so. Coming off these, we're going to go ahead and place down two stone upside down stairs and a stone brick upside down stair, just like that. Going up again, we're going to place down an air stone stair like so, followed by uh, row two of inside walls. So one and two inside walls uh, back like that. Now, once we get to this point, uh, we do have basically the tail rotor, which is going to be added on here. So. Uh, for this, uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go on top of the inside wall right here, and we're going to place down a shulker box on its side, like so. We're also going to go ahead and go to the side of the shulker box, and we're going to be placing down a stone button. We're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, stone block, which is going to be on the opposite side of it, so this side here. And then next to this shulker box, or sorry, next to this stone block, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair like so. A skeleton skull on the back of it. Same thing over here on this side, upside down stone brick stair, and a skeleton skull on the back of it, just like that. Once uh, that's finished there, and actually this stair is going to be turned so it's like that. After that, come off this stone brick block here, we're going to place down a, or this stone block, we're going to place down a stone brick wall, 
and then a like a shulker box with a stone bunny come off the side of it. We're gonna go ahead and go down from the shulker box with a narrow big stair like this to both sides. We're gonna go ahead and then cut the inside here, and we're gonna place down a stair like so, and then a stair that comes down from it just like that, and same thing over here on this side. Like so. So you should get something that looks like that there for those rotors. Going ahead and going up. We're going to place down an upside down stair here. Going up and we're going to basically do the same thing here just with upside down stairs. So they're going to go up like this. Like so. And then we're going to go and take our birchwood stairs up and out to the side there. So just like that. So basically your tail rotor or your rotor blades here should look very slanted like that to the side. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then go to the top up here. We're going to place a stone slab on top of this block, a iron trap door on this one, skeletons will come off the top of the or on the side of this slab, and then we want to place down a daylight detector, turn to night mode on top of this stone stair. After that's all complete there, um, we're going to go ahead and now move into our horizontal stabilizer here on the back. So for this horizontal stabilizer, we're going to go ahead and grab our stone slabs. We're going to go ahead and go to this section right here and place down a row of three of stone slabs. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of three of stone top slabs. And then we're going to place down a row of three of iron trap doors. And on top of those three iron trap doors, we're going to place down two iron trap doors like that. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of two of stone slabs, followed by a second row of two. And on the sides here, we're going to have two skeleton tools just like that. We then want to place down an additional one and two stone slabs, one and two. And then we're going to do one and two out like that, or sorry, one and two uh, like this, and then two skeleton skulls there on the sides of those like that as well. And anyways, that right there should do it for your horizontal stabilizer, and with that we'll complete basically the tail rotor system here. As I mentioned, it is probably one of my more complex ones. It is kind of, uh, kind of weird in the way it's uh, positioned, but... Uh, I definitely think it looks really cool on the helicopter, to say the very least. Um, so that's pretty much it for the tail rotor, and we're going to now move into the kind of main rotor system right here. So for this, we're just going to go ahead and get a basic rough draft set up here for it, so that we can go in and easily add on to it. Uh, we will have to build every one of these blades individually, as they are kind of, um, they're pretty much all different from each other. So that makes our life a little bit more difficult, but at the same time, it shouldn't be too bad to go and build. So for this, to go ahead and just get a basic rough draft start, we're going to go and place down a light gray shulker box on top of this anvil. We want to go and then place down a dark oak fence gate on all four sides. And we're going to have it opened up toward the um, shulker box. On the top here, we're going to place down a stone slab. We want to go and then place down a or sorry, polished anesthetic slab. We're going to then place down a polished anesthetic block on all four sides. And then in the corners here, we're going to place down iron trap doors. So just like that. And that right there will be basically the start there, which we're going to build all the blades coming off of. And that right there is going to go ahead and basically complete our final layers here and complete the fuselage here for the um, CH-53E Super Stallion. What's left for us to do now is to go ahead and build these rotors. And let me tell you guys, this is going to be probably the most complex and time consuming part of the tutorial as all these rotors are different from each other. So it is going to be a bit of a pain. So please bear with me and we'll get through it uh, the best we can. And then after that, um, we have the landed version, or basically adding a landing gear for all those that you want to have this thing landed. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into uh, the next part of our the tutorial, which will be doing the rotors. Alright guys, go ahead and getting started for rotors. Now as I mentioned, these rotors here are really, really difficult, and they are going to be a pain in the butt to do. So just pay close attention, uh, I'll try to go slow and we'll try to make this um, as easy as possible. But to begin with, we're going to go ahead and do our blade facing straight forward. For this, we're going to place down a darker grid trap for fence gate coming off this one right here, followed by a end rod. After that end rod, we want to go ahead and place down a row of four of Nerbic slabs. So one, two, three, and four. On the sides of the first two slabs, we're going to place down two wither skeleton schools, and then we're going to place down two dark grid trap doors. Once uh, that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of dark oak trap doors come off those two slabs there. We're going to go and drop down from those three dark oak trap doors and we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, and six 
Nerebrick Pop Slabs, and same thing right here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Nerebrick Pop Slabs. From this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down three Barakuku Trapdoors, which are going to, or sorry, my bad, it's actually going to be uh, a Nerebrick Pop Slab that drops down from this one, or Nerebrick Slab, rather. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then our next row here, one, two, three. And then one, two, three, Dark Oak Trap Doors. We're going to go ahead and drop down again. Or we're going to go ahead and go off of this row. We're going to place down one, two, and three, Dark Oak Trap Doors. We're going to go ahead and drop down below them. Place down one, two, three, four, five, and six, Nerebrick Top Slabs. And along the side here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five, Nerebrick uh, Top Slabs, followed by a Skeleton School, just like that. And also underneath these Dark Goku Trapdoors here, we're going to place down some Dark Goku Trapdoors where we can. So we can place down one up here. And we have basically these three right there that we can put. And this right here is going to do it there for the first blade and the easiest. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next blade. Our next blade here is going to be to the right of uh, this blade right here. So for this, we're going to place down a Dark Goku Fence Gate on top of this wall right here. And we want to go and then place down an end rod coming off this one at an angle, so just like this. And then coming off this angled end rod, we're going to place down a air brick slab like that. We're going to go and place down a wither skeleton school on the side of the slab facing toward the rear. We're going to go ahead and go at an angle from the slab, place down an air slab like that, and an air wither skeleton school, followed by a dark oak wood trapdoor at the side, an air brick slab, dark oak wood trapdoor, an air brick slab, dark oak wood trapdoor, and a air brick slab. At this point here, we're going to go and drop down with a Nerebrick top slab, followed by a second Nerebrick top slab back from it, and a Dark Oak Trap Door on top of it. We're going to go ahead and repeat the same thing again here. So, top slab, slab back, Dark Oak Trap Door, top slab, slab back, Dark Oak Trap Door. We're going to go then place down two Dark Oak top slabs, or sorry, two Nerebrick top slabs, going back at an angle. Same thing here again, two Nerebrick top slabs. Two near brick top slabs. We're going to then drop down and enable here. And we're going to place down two near brick half slabs, a dark oak wood trap door, near brick half slab, and near brick half slab. Turn off this one at an angle here, and a wither skeleton skull like that. And that right there is going to do your uh, blade here to the right. Let's move on to our next one. Our next blade here isn't too bad either. Uh, for this one, we're going to start by placing on a dark oak wood. Um, fence gate, coming off this one right here, followed by a end rod. We're going to then place down a row of one, two, three, and four nerve brick slabs, two wither skeleton schools coming off the first two slabs, and then two dark oak wood trapdoors after that. We then want to go ahead and go off these trapdoors one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, nerve brick slabs to the side here, six dark oak wood trapdoors coming off those. Get off this trapdoor, one, two, three, four, five, and six dark oak wood, um, or sorry, nerve brick top slabs, and then six dark oak wood trapdoors alongside there. Again, come off this, uh, this, uh, trapdoor here, one, two, three, four, five, and six, um, nerve brick slabs, and then we're gonna go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five dark oak wood trapdoors, and a with their skeleton skull just like that. And that right there is going to complete this blade. Alright guys, for our next blade here, we're gonna go ahead and place down a dark oak wood trapdoor or dark oak wood fence gate on top of this wall right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and place down a end rod coming off of it. Where they're gonna place down two narrow brick slabs back, followed by two with their skeleton skulls here on the side. Come off those two slabs, we're gonna place down two dark oak wood trapdoors, one and two narrow brick slabs, and we're gonna go ahead and then go up from this narrow brick slab to a near brick top slab, one slab back, see so row two, followed by a second row two, and then we want to go ahead and place down one, two, and then one, two, and then on top of these two, two dark oak wood trapdoors. We're going to go then place down near brick top slab here, one back, dark oak wood trapdoor. Come out this dark oak wood trapdoor and place down near brick slab, dark oak wood trapdoor, like that. Come off the slab, one and two dark oak wood trapdoors. Two narrow brick slabs, one and two dark oak wood trapdoors, two narrow brick slabs, and then we want to go and then go up again from this slab, 
to a um, pop slam. We're going to go one back, save row two, second row two, one right here, one back, save row two here. We're going to then place down a pop slab here, wither skeletons go like that to the side, and then go back from this pop slab here at an angle, nair slab, and then a wither skeletons go like that on the inside there. So your blade here will look like this, going back and up to the side there. So take a moment to pause it if you need it. And um, different, a couple different angles there for that. I think this one's more than one of the more difficult ones to do. Uh, but anyways, that right there is it for our fourth blade. Let's move on to our fifth. All right, guys, go ahead and move it into our next blade. For our next blade here, we're going to place down a dark oak fence, fence gate here on top of this wall. A end rod back from it. We're going to go then place down two nair brick slabs, two dark oak, or two wither skeletons, go like that to the side. Come off this wither skeleton skull, we're going to place down two nair brick slabs, a dark oak trap door, and a nair brick slab. We're going to go and then go up from this nair brick slab with a pop slab, followed by uh, one coming off this one and a narrow row of two, so two rows of two here. We then want to go ahead and go over one and two, one and two, and then one and two. We're going to go ahead and then go up from this with a narrow brick slab, narrow brick trapdoor, and a trapdoor below this trapdoor as well. We then want to go ahead and go off this trapdoor, one and two, narrow brick slabs, two dark oak wood trapdoors, then one and two narrow brick slabs, two narrow brick slabs coming off those two. And then we want to go ahead and go up here with an air slab. So a top slab here, uh, two, one and two, and then two coming off these ones. We're going to go ahead and then place down one and two more. We want this first one here and place down wither skeleton and skull, followed by a nair brick top slab here, and a nair brick top slab like that, back like so. And that right there will basically complete this blade here. So again, kind of similar to that one. Again, very different um, so you can kind of see here what I'm what I mean by I'm, when these are uh, definitely a little more trickier to do anyways that right there is it for this blade and actually we're gonna go ahead and also add one two and three trapdoors right there as well anyways that right there is going to do it for that blade let's move on to our sixth one moving into our uh, sixth blade we're going to place down a darker grid fence gate come off this one right here followed by an end run we then want to place down one, two, three, and four. An Arabic slab is the side here. One and two wheeler skeleton schools, and then two dark oak trap doors. We're going to then go off of these Arabic slabs with one, two, three, four, five, and six trap doors, and then a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six in Arabic. We're going to go and repeat the same thing again. So turn off the Arabic. One, two, three, four, five, six trap doors, and then one, two, three, four, five, six Arabic slabs. And then for our next row here, one, two, three, four, five dark oak wood trapdoors, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then a wither skeleton skull right here. Come off this slab like that, and that right there will basically do it there for your sixth blade. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our final blade. Thank God, um, these blades are miserable to do, uh, that's for sure. But anyways, our last one here. We're gonna go ahead and go to this wall. We're gonna place down a. Uh, Fence gate there. We're gonna go and then place down a end rod that comes off at an angle like so, and then from this angled, uh, this angle, we're gonna place down a narrow brick slab here at an angle from the end rod, followed by a wither skeleton skull going forward of it. From this uh, slab here, we're gonna do a narrow angled narrow brick slab with a wither skeleton skull again on the side here. We're gonna then place down a dark oak wood trap door, narrow brick slab, dark oak wood trap door, narrow brick slab, dark oak wood trap door, and a narrow brick slab. We then want to go ahead and place down a Nair brick top slab that drops down from that slab, and we're going to place that nair brick top slab back from it, and then two or one dark oak trap door like that. We're going to go ahead and repeat this row here uh, two more times. So nair brick top slab, uh, second one back, dark oak trap door on top, two top slabs, dark oak trap door on top. And they're going to go ahead and uh, do four rows of just the nair brick uh, top slabs here going back in an angle. So one, two, three, and four. We're going to then drop down to a slab. And we're going to have one and two slabs, followed by a dark oak wood trap door, a narrow brick slab, and a narrow brick slab here at an angle, and a wither skeleton skull here come off the side of the slab toward the inside. And that right there is going to complete it for the blades. Once you look, take a look at it, you will see that they are angled, which is a really cool aspect of this uh, build. We can see that the blades are angled as they uh, would be on the actual helicopter itself and uh, 
overall just looks super impressive. So if you were just here for the in-flight version, you're pretty much good to go for it. Um, that is the in-flight version completed. We're going to go ahead and move into adding the landing gear. So those of you that do want to build this thing landed, uh, you will have the possibility of basically do that if you want to. Um, but anyways, that's it for the in-flight version. Let's go ahead and move into the landing gear. Alright guys, so we're going ahead and move it into our landing gear. Now if you did build this correctly, we should have the helicopter staying about a block and a half off the ground here, with the very bottom being this location. Um, once you're pretty much good to go, we can go ahead and get started. So for the first thing, we're going to go ahead and delete this iron trap door, and we're going to place it with a stone full block. And then the iron trap doors at both sides of it, we're going to place down two stone upside down stairs. Once that's complete, we're going to go ahead and delete these two, or this row of three of stone tops that's behind it followed by the second row of three and the third row as well. Now above this space here, we're gonna take black concrete and we're just gonna completely fill this space up, up on top here with black concrete to close this area off. We're gonna then place down a stone brick wall right here, followed by a stone brick top side coming down from the wall. And we wanna go ahead and then place down a nerve brick upside down stair like this, upside down stair behind it, and then two stairs on top of them. Just like that to go and make the wheel here. And the same thing over here on this side as well. So just like this, and that'll make your two wheels. And the last thing we want to do to go ahead and just kind of finish it up in, inside here, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab here, and we're going to just place down an end rod coming off this stone brick wall there to go ahead and kind of finish off the inside there. A little cramped, but um, that's going to basically just do it there for the front wheels. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to the rear wheels. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into the rear wheels. So the rear wheels here, pretty straightforward as well. Uh, we're just going to go into the bottom here. We're going to delete this stone top slab here, this stone full block, and this stone full block as well. Now, in this place, we're going to go to the middle space here and place down two stone brick walls that come down like this, followed by a stone brick top slab. And we're going to place down another brick stair, upside down to both sides of the top slab, stair on top of those stairs, and then two stairs here on the backs, just like that. We then want to go ahead and go to the front here. We're going to place down a skeleton skull and then a end rod that goes up, just like that, to connect up to it. We want to go and then go off the end rod. We're going to place down a stone stair like this, followed by a second stair and a third stone stair, just like that, to go and make that right there. And once you have that done, that's pretty much it for the structuring there. We will go ahead and go into our create a menu. We'll grab ourselves some um, looms, two black banners. We'll need at least two light gray dye pieces and four black dye pieces. Going into our loom, we're going to go ahead and place our black banners into our looms and our light gray dye. We're going to go ahead and select this uh, kind of split here on the side. So we're going to start off by selecting this one here on the left side and then the one over here on the right side. We're then going to take each of these banners, put them back into our looms. We're going to select the bottom uh, line there of dye and also the top. So you kind of get a C looking shape. And we're going to do the same thing over here for this banner as well. Now for both those banners, we're going to go ahead and just go to the sides here of these wheels and place down the two banners like down the side there, just kind of give a beefier wheel type appearance. And uh, the same thing will be done over here on this wheel uh, once you go ahead and add it. So the wheel on the left side is exactly the same as the right, so just take what we do on the right and flip over to the left and you'll be pretty much good to go. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up my tutorial here for both the landed and in-flight versions of the CH-53E Sea Stallion. Uh, again, big special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. And if you guys are interested, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Again, link is always in the video descriptions. Um, and with that, if you guys do want to use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from the side of the build, between my channel, or this video if this doesn't bring you social media sites. As always, you guys give me proper credit for the build. You're free to use your favorite projects you guys are working on overall. Enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.